What's up, Mr. Gillespie? Hi. Well, hey, we're coming at you raw. Hey, what are we doing today? We are uh, edge quenching. Yep, yep, yep. 1095. Yep, yep. Uh, we've on. got it up to about 1500 degrees and we're ready to do it. Fantastic. And we're doing that on my, um, little thing. Weird. My Warncliffe Crambit like type TDI type design. Okay, yeah. You ready? I am so ready. Here we go. Look at that. I can see why it was so important. You want me to shut the oven, sir? Sure. Thank you. Whoop. It still has that tinge of blue to it, which is pretty cool. At least in the camera. Yep. We're just going to cool off the rest of the blade now. Just dropping a thousand degrees real quick. Yep. Well, we got the edge hardened. You can see the, where the line's going to be. Oh yeah. So it'll be a real pretty Haman. We just uh, put it on a hook and uh, let it cool. I didn't get the hooks. Hold on. I'll be right back. Alright sir, we're coming out. We're going to test this out. Let me get the... Uh... Okay. So what we're going to do here is just see if, if this made it to full hardness. Yes sir. We can't do it with a Rockwell hardness tester, so we're going to do it with a file. Mm -hmm. And the file shouldn't cut this at all and as you can see it's skating across that without it's shining it a bit but that's that's about all it's doing yes sir on the back side it's soft enough that it actually bites in and, and cuts yeah so the back side's about 45 to, uh, rockwell in the cutting edges yeah somewhere uh around 62 to 65 on the on the cutting edge and the back 40 45. No, and it doesn't matter at all that we got a rock well a little higher in the back. The, the, the end of the tang is going to be under the handle. We don't care what the hardness is on the back end of the knife. Absolutely. How awesome is that? I'm excited. Am I doing the next one, sir? Uh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I watched everything through the viewfinder. Hey, we'll talk to you later, sir. Yes. Our, uh, uh, stuff here. All right, we got a... Uh, we got a set of scales super glued onto the tang of a knife. Yes, sir. First side's been drilled. Now we're going to go to the drill press and push these through the other side. This was the, this is a... Uh, 01. 01, but with the hollow grind drop point. But this this wood was uh, the... Bubinga. Bubinga, which is a South American hardwood. Yes. Yes. Uh, Bubinga. And this is for uh, Brother Eugene, Roman Legionnaire 77, so... Uh, it's a, a hollow ground drop point, and we're going to go ahead and finish up. I just want to get Bobinga uh, on uh, on film because <laughs> I'm never going to remember that you're one. You're never going to remember it. All yeah. right. Thank you, sir. Yep. Okay. You're on. Yeah. Oh, it's destructo. Going to do an edge quench. Now the long one with the uh, with the left hand, sir, for you. Uh, yep. I'm not sticking my finger in between. Try not to. See, I almost did it again. Uh -huh. I did it again. Mm -hmm. You got it. So I can kick that door, please? Yep. Does that look good to you, sir? Just leave her there. Yes, sir. Looks great. A little smoky, is it? Yes, sir, and then my mask won't allow me to blow it. <laughs> <laughs> Should be good. Go ahead and uh, get it with the other pliers and dunk it in the oil. Asking a lot of you, aren't I? No, sir. <laughs> Swirl it now, sir? Yep. 
again, we're not too concerned about uh, trying to harden the rest of the knife. We're just cooling it to hasten the process a bit. Looks like I went a little deeper than you did. Yep, no problem. I think that's going to cause an ugly homon, or is that going to be a nice homon? That's going to be just fine. Fantastic. Show the camera. I ain't bringing good towels, huh? That looks great. So that's going to be where my homon's on. Yeah, a little higher than the other knife, but just just fine. So once again, thank you very much, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's constructed a love and a life. Thanks, sir. Out.